so we're down at Dobby's now if you want to be down and you've just come out the garden centre all you need to do go around the car park <coughs> make sure you find the right way out this is the out arrow just there is the charging station this is the big green hut where someone's parked a load of trolleys in the way where I always put my bikes big charger station on the right between oh look more stickers lots more stickers there's loads on there now red bomb sticker board is going well so there's the big charger box little subunit at the side between it on that little side unit on the side of the board you'll find all the stickers they're hidden from view and the electric guy said to me yeah you can put stickers there but just don't put them all over the front mate because they will get peeled off because we have to keep it clean and it looks unsightly it don't look unsightly it looks darn good anyway guess what i'm sitting on i am sitting on a lexmoto apollo now the apollo is no longer available it's exactly the same bike but it has been rebranded the ap1 because i think it was even nasa or someone got the raving ump about uh, Lexmoto calling it the Apollo and they said you've got to change it okay so what do we call it now we call it the AP1 okay fine fair enough so on the outside of your dial is your kilometers on the inside is your miles so 30 is 10 o'clock 11 o'clock is 40 12 o'clock is 50 1 o'clock is 60 what can this bike do believe it or not 66 mile an hour flat out but i am not going to do that because this bike belongs to mrs gsa tractor yes this is andy's partner's bike but just watch this this is great give it some welly god this thing flies <laughs> it's it's definitely a lot more kilowatts there than your, your Titan or your Diablo or that but obviously it is a big maxi scooter make sure you keep it under the speed limit RB Mrs uh, Tractor doesn't want any speeding tickets but god does this thing fly when you give it some welly now dual braking bike as you can tell you can hear the wind noise it's blowing a gale the sun is out it's been on and off we've had hailstones we've had heavy rain the sun is out and i want it to stay sunny for this afternoon because i'm test riding and i want to go home and get in my hot tub but big old screen on it rev counters off to the right you've got a digital display off to the left and it tells you everything you need to know about the bike but great screens ever so easy to see i love one of these i absolutely love these apollos they are a fantastic bike but you give it a handful of beans there we go straight to 30 <laughs> for flying around town this thing has got some torque on the back end and the best bit is obviously it's a massive massive seat it is so comfy and uh, if you happen to have a larger posterior it's it will fit you you know your butt cheeks are not hanging over the side of the seat look at that big pothole and this suspension on this is so soft it just handles and soaks up the bumps and it is a joy to ride love these and i'm blowing a gale you can see it's i'm getting pushed around but being a heavier bigger bike it's planted it doesn't blow you about like if it was on a 125 titan i'd be all over the road or diablo i'd be everywhere it's knocking me for six on this bike but the bike is just planted and holding a line so one thing about the ap1 it is a heavier bike it's got plenty of power to get you there and it holds the road but due to its size a lot easier and you can still filter through traffic yes love it we're doing a left down here so it gives me a chance to have a little waffle but mirrors decent size just look at the view out of that mirror behind me really good view of the road behind great setup dual braking bikes a front brake front brake only left brake you pull it down it pulls down square easy to see display the fuel tank is massive on it compared to the titan and the diablo so you're going to get more miles to the gallon low speed handling great 
What else can you say? Well, storage boxes everywhere. There's a little one here, there's a little one there. You can chuck your phone in it. Loads of bits and pieces. And you can get a full face helmet under the seat. But the only thing is, obviously, if you put your full face helmet under the seat, you're right under the driver's butt and chuck all your stuff in the back. But then you've got to get all the stuff out the back to get to your full face helmet, which is at the front of the seat. But you can get a full face helmet under the seat. Now, my niggle. <clears throat> I have only got one niggle about this bike. It's got loads of luggage, luggage space, but obviously it has massive great grab rails at the back. Now, it comes with, or you can purchase, an aftermarket rack. Yay! So you can put a top box on the back. So we went to obviously get it out, we took the handrails off the back to get it prepped up and it don't fit. Why don't it fit? Let's just get past this bus, there we go, we're done. And uh, why won't the handrails fit? You have to cut the panels. Or you can go to Lexmoto and purchase the panel kit that goes around the back of the bike so you've got to strip the entire back of the bike just to put the new panels on so you can put the rear rack on so phone call to Lex Moto how do we fit this rack on well a lot of dealers what they do is they cut the panels okay so you have to get in there with a Dremel or a, a really nice Stanley knife without cracking the panel cut round it and if you overcut it obviously you've got a gap because there is no plan or no uh, schematic for, uh, you know, like you were able to fit in kit at IKEA, you'd have a little thing that you'd draw a pencil around it. No, nope, there's nothing like that. So you have to basically judge it for yourself. And if you get it wrong the first time, you are stumped. And uh, both myself, Phil, and Junior Mechanic have all said, well, why don't they take the fitting kit? for the panels for the rear they're already cut for the uh, rear rack and if you just put handrail in then get blanking plates that you can just clip into place so if someone does want the rear rack and they don't want the handrails you just unclip those little blanking plates wouldn't that be a lot easier oh no because it's easier just to mold an entire unit um, and obviously mold the side panels for the rear rack so rather than mess around with moulds, well, yeah, just make a blanking plate up. You can just clip in, clip out, job done. But obviously, that's Chinese engineering for you. Didn't think about that one. We did. So it is in to have the uh, the rear rack fitted, but Andy said to me, when you've done the AP1 video, let me know. I want to see it being ridden. Round town, I tell you. And obviously Michelle scoots backwards and forwards to work. This thing absolutely flies. And it's just really, and it's gonna be loving this. He's gonna, I'm gonna take this out rather than the GA. You can literally just wiggle of the arse cheeks, or should I say posterior, wiggle of the posterior, don't say backside, Dave. Um, wiggle of the backside, you can just throw this thing around the corners. It is flickable. It's very good. I do like it. So pothole coming up, what do you do? Way around the pothole, round the... So very easy just to move this bike around, just using a little bit of leg, a little bit of backside. But even if you did take it over a speed bump, the suspension will soak it up. So I'm impressed. Let's do the, uh, the speed bump test, shall we? So... And you, you hardly feel it. I tell you what, the suspension is so good, you, f you can't feel it. Love it. And it helps with this big padded seat as well. I'm, I'm bouncing around on this bike like a loom. Michelle's going to be, stop bouncing on my bike. It's great. I love it. So 8.3 miles in. And it's 4.07. It's not. It's actually 5.07. I will reset the clocks because it was set from a couple of weeks ago. But what a great bit of kit this is. So Michelle's going to be well pleased. We'll get the uh, the rack and the top box on. We'll do another video and uh, let us see it with the top box on. But if you are thinking of an AP one, just buy it with the darn rack on. Just phone Lex Motor and say, just supply it with the rack or phone the dealer. I just want the rack. But if you want to save, uh, obviously, time, 
or you're not that technically minded about cutting panels, you can buy the aftermarket panel kit. I think it's about 60, 70 quid or something just to save. But mm, a person like me, I'm going to get my little Stanley knife out and sit picking tomorrow and work it all out with my vernier and like you normally do. But final test ride still to come up. This is going out next week. And the only downside to it is, obviously Andy and Michelle are coming to pick it up next week. I am on holiday. So uh, no doubt uh, Andy will be uh, messaging me on holiday. RB. Bikes brill, bikes brill. And the price of Lex Motos is through the floor at the moment. They've knocked 200 and I think 250 quid off of every bike because they're just trying to clear the slot because we've got all the new stuff coming in July. I am looking forward to a shed load of test rides from Lex Moto and getting out and trying some of the new stuff that they've got now. Quick one, if you missed the, uh, well it's not up yet, but this one will probably be up before I get the Harley video up. We went to Super Sausage yesterday, met Andy down there and Simon, and loads of photos on Instagram, loads of videos on TikTok. We had an absolute blast at Super Sausage, and then I ended up taking the Harley down to the Gifford Park, the pub. And we had a bike meet with the, uh, the Wayward crew, the local MC, and uh, it was, oh God, that wind. You can really hear it now. Oh, blustery, blustery. Oh, Jesus. So we met them with the Wayward crew and all the local MCs. Shed load of Harleys there and all like, nice bike, Rev. Nice bike. Yes, it is a nice bike. And uh, we're sitting in the car park. Next thing we know, the local Hells Angels turned up. Woo! And everyone was like, oh my God, oh my God. And they're lovely. They're, they're great guys. I was chatting with a few of them. And uh, obviously the four of them were stood at the bar in the pub and everyone was like oh, I ain't going up for a pint the old angels in there straight up between them alright if I scoot in here boys and get myself a beer yeah of course you can go and jump in mate who are you I'm oh, just Rev yeah. lovely guys so don't believe what you hear about uh, MCs and Hells Angels they're, they're alright if you treat them with some respect and the same as anything treat everyone with respect people there's no need to be nasty but having an absolute blast on this, I am getting back to the workshop. I've got another bike to ride yet before I go home. So we're going to get out and get another test ride done. And we're going to scoot in here. We have the obligatory 10 miles on the clock. Thank you very much, Noddy Noddy. Not often an Audi driver lets you through. <laughs> so, Apollo. Now known as the Lexmoto AP1, this is... This is a GSA tractor's bike, so Andy GSA tractor, and it's his wife's bike, Michelle's bike, so she's going to love this, it corners great, tyres on this are darn good, but god does this thing go, steady, it's a 30, lucky there's no speed cameras around here, this will, it's got so much torque on that back end, you just literal twist of the throttle and you're away. Are you just going to sit there talking all day, mate, or are you going to move your bum? Get off your bloody phone. Now he decides to get out of the car. That's George. <laughs> That's one of our regulars on his little Yamaha Tricity. That's George. Always gives me a wave at seven o'clock in the morning when I'm opening up. Right, we are back to the garage, people. Which means that I've got to unlock all the doors, put the bike away, get the next one out, put all the alarms back on, go out and test ride. Oh, the life when you're on your own at the garage because Phil is off doing other jobs. My mechanic little one has gone home for the day, so I am single crewed and on my own. Poor RB. Oh, isn't it a stressful life? So, whatever you're doing this week, have yourself a good one. Watch out for the Super Sausage video on the Harley. Should be interesting, but until the next time, from RB, be well, ride safe, and before we say a big goodbye, there we go.
one Lexmoto AP1 minus its grab rails, which go here and here. And we've got to cut all this out all the way round. So that is going to be interesting. But anyway, till the next time, be well, ride safe, and it's a big goodbye from me.